I love this cord. I gotta have one. This is gorgeous. The Beverly sedan. I had to do a little bird from here for a while. I'll be all there. Airport. See the V8 right in there? Beautiful. Front wheel drive, of course. Remember that. Now you can see the shifter solenoid. That's what that big black thing he is with the wiring going in because it's electro um, vacuum. And you can see the CV joints over there, the inner CV joints. Just a beautiful car. Beautiful car. That's nice. Hupmobile and Graham bought the dies and made their own versions. Rear wheel drive, of course. There's a pre selector over there. Just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. How much are you asking? Uh, we just bought it. So we just bought it. Not selling it. Oh, so you're going to double the price? No. Well, we'd have to double it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Have fun with it. Good luck. Thank May you. May you have many, many miles of happiness well, with no problems with the shifter. Now, the shift that's been all redone, they've done a wonderful job and it shifts wonderful. Great. When they work, they work they well. They work great. Yeah. And, and I'm going to drive the wheels off of it. It's my last. Good. I had four of them. It's my fourth one. And uh, it took me 20 years now to find a good one. Yeah. You can find a lot of junky ones. It's been repaired, rusted. Yeah wrecks whatever to get a good one it, it took that long so yeah it's, well the worst is that if it comes out of a museum it's a long-term it's, storage and forget about a it driving car they're, no they're just storage cars no. need all sorted out but to get a good one you got to pay the money too it can't be cheap no uh in the rolls royce world we have a saying uh the most expensive rolls royce you could buy it's a cheap yeah. Rolls Royce. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Good luck. Thank I'll you. see you on the road. Thank you. That's what I like to hear. So the car is going to be driven. Sorry. 37.